just when I'm away on holiday and stuff like that just so simple little things and that's what I tend to do if I'm outside sketching and this, this to me makes my holiday just put in a little sketchbook full of these little paintings and pictures and things different places that I go to and little memories I've got there but for I demonstrate the changes I'll go home and finish it um, but it also helps me to decide what I want to paint and I can't see very well because the sun's straight in my eyes there and if you can so, zoom in on something it makes you focus on what it is you're going to paint because when you come to a scene like this you, you get distracted by all these different bits all around the side. You've lost it. Yeah. Oh, right. No. Okay. The feature came around and it's totally different no. to what I've got. Oh, right. <laughs> you just got to keep your pencil upright. It's almost upright. So it comes towards you that way. So it's a, a bit of a funny angle, some of these. But those are the ones that always seem to throw people when they're doing a, um, a drawing or a painting of such like, like that. So. And then this other little bit comes out a little way. I'm just going to measure the width of that so I can see how far forward. It's only a smidgen out of there. And again, the angle of the canal going back. And I'll probably let that fade away. I don't know whether I'll start putting the buildings in the side here. I'll have a little think. Probably not, because I think that's going to just distract from it there. So the trees, are these are the bits and bobs on your lock gates, which I'm sure... I'm just going to put a bit of that on that side to match. So you get a bit of varying tone into them. So that tree is a lot darker than the others there. Again, same with that one. Or to give a bit more descriptive, leave some open bits in it as well. So you get a bit more mark making with that to get the shape of the tree to where that tree is reflecting down here. And as it comes away from the tree, it breaks up. So you get less and less of the it's more solid as it's closer to the tree. It's a bit just like a smaller brush because I've been using a big round brush for most of that. Um, I make up a, a dark colour now with all the rings themselves and on to the white bits. They're not actually completely white. They've got a little bit not quite that dark. Don't watch that bit where I suck the brush. And for a quick sketch, probably wouldn't do an awful lot more. Let's see what oh, that is. watercolour not the best but uh, at least it will give you an idea of how to do something. Alright? <laughs> <laughs>